Afternoon, Andoni. Afternoon. Let's start with the most important thing, I guess, this week. It's the, the injury news. You revealed uh, during the week that Dom Solanke had, had an MRI scan on his knee. How did that go? What's the latest situation? Will he be available this weekend? Yeah, I think the uh, MRI went quite well. But it's true that uh, he hasn't still trained with us. Uh, we have still one more training tomorrow and I will leave chances open. It will depend on uh, how he manages the pain because it's true that he still feels some pain in the, in, the, in the knee. But at least with the MRI, it's everything clear, nothing uh, uh, strange and it's just uh, it's a matter of uh, his uh, sensations. It's true that uh, today he, he wasn't training, but in the good side, let's say, uh, to NS, for example, was training with us Today, the, also the, the X-rays in this case show that uh, uh, he, he didn't have anything in the bones and he had a, a okay, obviously the, bru the bruise and this, he has the, also the pain, but I think, uh, I hope he's, he's at least uh, available and uh, we have to wait until tomorrow if we have a, a chance with them or not. What do you think it is with him, 50-50? We don't. 70 30, the chances of him playing I, this weekend? I don't know, I don't know. Uh, because it's a matter of uh, he seeing himself outside and uh, if he still feels the pain that he felt the other day before the game or, or has improved. And uh, he will be the one taking the, taking the decision. So the, the scans come back clear, which is obviously yeah. positive, but it's now up to Dom as to whether he feels okay to play. Is the bigger problem for you perhaps risking him to play this weekend could potentially do more damage for the whole of your season as opposed to just one game? Uh, it's a situation that is not new, you know, for Dom. It's something that is going on, I think, since the Spurs game away. We are talking about, I think, the last day of the past year, yeah, 31st of uh, December. It's something that bothers him. It has been managing it quite well, but it's true that this week, he has felt uh, more pain. He, he wasn't comfortable, and um, we obviously we are. He's receiving all the treatment. We are trying to help him as much as as as, uh, as we can with from the medical department, and uh, we will we will try it until the end, until tomorrow. And uh, if he feels comfortable, he he may may want to train, and and uh, let's see how it goes. Um, OK. Good news that Ennis Unal is back, yeah. though. That's, that's obviously positive. He's in training. I believe Tyler Adams has been back in training yeah. as well. So is he potentially available this weekend or would that no. be too soon? No, Tyler is training with, uh, with the group. He's doing almost everything with the group, but he still is, is not with the rhythm of his teammates. He has been out for one year and he has been training with us one week. is is not enough, no? He needs uh, some some more riding. Probably he will play with the development squad some minutes. Uh, he will uh, have um, harder training with the group and uh, he needs still some some time to be with with the teammates. Yes. Okay, and um, I guess really the the disappointment of losing to to Leicester in the week. Have you seen the right type of a reaction in training from the group? Have you, have you seen enough to suggest that the disappointment of that is behind them and you now can focus on the Premier League again this weekend? Ah, it's a difficult week for us because at the end we come from two very, very demanding physically, especially demanding games because we played against City, a huge effort. We played against Leicester, 120 minutes. Some of the players played, some of them played everything, every minute. So it's a matter more of recovering them physically because we will need another good effort in the, on the weekend. Uh, result wise, we cannot change it. It's a big disappointment for us. We had hopes in the competition, but we cannot uh, change it. And now we have to uh, recover first, physically, mentally, and reset again, because it's uh, uh, also a very important game for us. Yeah. Burnley haven't won in eight Premier League games and have the worst home Premier League record in the division. Does that make this game slightly easier for you to go there or does that make them very dangerous? Uh, they will think also no, that we haven't won in some games and uh, you know we, we are not in the best of our runs and 
I think we have the experience against them. We won our first game against them, but it was at the very end. It was a hard game for both sides, and, uh, it's, and we know it's not going to be easy. We have to give uh, our best level. Uh, they are a team that uh, fights every time. They are. They have also added some players in the in the in the winter market that are, are playing well with them, and we have to be ready for the for the challenge because it's. The same as for them is a very important game. For us, it's also the same. Thank you. How much did the efforts against Manchester City and then Leicester affect training this week? Have you been able to prepare? You said about it's all recovery, but yeah, it's most mostly the recovery because we have some players that have played uh, and have run a lot this week, and uh, they've been pushed until the, the end. Uh, you could see the other day how they finish the the cup game, especially the ones that have started both games. Uh, they, they needed some rest, but it's true that uh, this is the the high level football and we have to be ready again in this this uh, this Sunday and I hope everyone is going to be ready. Yeah? I know it's nearly seven days ago, but the, the, such a brave approach against Manchester City. How how proud did you feel Saturday night, Sunday, especially of the second half, or were, was it just frustration and disappointment not to get anything? No, I I think we are coming from two games. I would say, especially Newcastle away and City at home, where we've done a lot of very good things, but the reward has been just one point, and at the end, it's the most important thing, especially now, no, in the second part of the of the season. No, uh, we have to know that even playing well, even doing some things very well is not being enough so we have to improve in other areas that are uh, costing us points yes the the effort that was put in against manchester city yeah, and and newcastle yeah. and obviously leicester yeah. to a different extent but is that the new level is that the new normal is that what fans could expect or was that a special one off for me we have to once you show you have this level you have this intensity this this its capacity uh, this has to be your you know we have to start from there and then improve because it's not even enough this is we have to keep the, the good things we we were doing especially the two games you you said but uh, we have to be more efficient be more efficient if we want to take more more credit of the things we are doing you mentioned the, the home game against Burnley yeah. It was your first win in the Premier League. Yeah. Can you remember, because the performances leading up to that had also been good, but for no reward, can you remember whether the, the first win, did that have a big effect on the squad? Uh, for us, it was a huge, huge one because we were in, in a very, very bad position, no points wise. Uh, I, I remember, I think after winning, we were in front of them, but we were fighting no, with with them and I, confidence wise is always important when you get the the points now it's different situations but we are also coming from a bad run of results even if i think the team is doing some things very well and we need again we need again to go there and and try to win the game because uh, uh, we are tying some games that keep you there but the jump in the standings the the confidence is with when you win games how much potential is there to climb the table in these last 39 games and you know how do you split your targets are you looking next international break are you, I know you're going to say game at a time but yeah. you know are you for example like 39 points was last season's yeah. total it would be nice to pass that to show progression presumably but 46 is the record here is that attainable no at the end uh, I'm going to say what you know we are going to go game by game and at the end the, the, the table will put us in our place. Obviously the first thing we have to do is to secure the points to be here in the Premier League next season and we still don't have them. We don't know how many points will be this, but it's what uh, we have to do. The sooner the better because uh, uh, at the end uh, the, when, when you don't get the results, uh, everyone I know that everyone is pushing. Uh, and uh, the sooner we get these these wins, I don't know how many wins we need, no, to save uh, three wins, let's say, no. The sooner we get them, the 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 better. Yeah. Fair enough. Is there any Lloyd Kelly news? Just 
No, he will not be. He continues out and uh, yeah, will be the same as the, the other day against the uh, Leicester, except the uh, situation with the with the forwards that I hope at least the uh, NS is, is available and we'll see with them.